लॉस्ट टाइम इज नेवर फाउंड अगेन सो हेलो माई शिमरिंग स्टार्स टूडे आई शोर ग्रोवर वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ पी डब्ल्यू इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम हेयर बिफोर यू टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू रिवाइज वास्ट सिलेबस इन लास्ट टाइम so basically your exams are approaching and you all are afraid that you have very few minutes hours left before your examination or i would say very few days left to your examination so how you have to cover syllabus in that spot of time so students when we talk about covering vast syllabus here we refer to as certain factors that we have to keep in our mind the very first initial thing that you need to keep in your mind is to prepare a time table now this really plays a very important role now many students prepare time table in certain ways the very first way to prepare a time table is to set some goals in your day to day life for example before you know uh, waking up in the morning you prepare a time table in such a way that you are assigning some slots for example you are giving 3 hours to a particular topic then you are taking some break and then you are giving 3 hours to a certain topic and you are taking break this pattern you will be following or the another way if i talk about you certainly make a time table like this that i shall cover one subject in a single day another subject in the next day and so on so you prepare your weekly time table in such a way but students let me tell you this is the incorrect method as you all know exams are approaching and you have a lot of syllabus to cover so the best method to prepare a time table is to divide it into four segments the very first initial major segment that i am talking about is all about that you can divide your time table such as morning okay then you can talk about you know afternoon then evening and that and uh, at last night so you can prepare four slots and in these four slots what you can do is you can mention it over here so that it can help you out as i've told you you can divide it into morning one slot is for morning then you can <coughs> take some break for your you know uh, breakfast section then you can talk about afternoon one slot for this after this you can talk about evening as well and at last you can talk about night so basically you have these four slots and now in these four slots how you can divide your syllabus initially keep your basic three slots in such a way that you are dividing three subjects for example as you all know till now paper has not uh, you know are they are not approaching so far you have some few days left so you can do is divide your for example physics over here then maths over here then chemistry over here okay now you can assign certain topics in these slots as well and at last the night slot you can keep those topics which are easy or you can keep this slot for your previous year questions pyqs previous year questions now this plays a vital role in your examination see what happens while solving previous year questions we get to know the pattern of examination how the questions are going to come in your examination so you need to practice the previous year questions as well when you are you know uh, preparing for a certain examination so this night slot can either be used for the easiest topic so that you will be confined uh, you know to the topic that secures the highest mark and which requires less time as well and other than this you have to solve the previous year questions as well so this holds you know the section where you gain confidence in your day to day life for example you are working so hard in day for example you have done your major hard topics in morning afternoon and evening section but at night you are taking that topic which is easy so it will require less efforts and will automatically cover your syllabus as well great so you can divide your time table in such a way rather than dividing the time table uh, like this 3 hours i am going to do this topic then i am going to take break then 3 hours then 3 hours no that's not the correct way you may be able to follow it but not for the longer period of time right now other thing that you need to keep in your mind is students do keep over here note that revision revision is really very important while you are preparing for any examination see every students you know they do hard work everyone everybody does that but you need to do smart work as well basically there is a forgetting curve i would love to tell you about it forgetting curve says that whenever you are listening to a topic or you are reading a topic or you are understanding a topic if you are not revising it within 24 hours okay then that means 50% of your data that is data that is stored in your mind you know is vanished away 
and when you are not revising it in week in a certain week then 70% of your data is vanished and when you are not revising it for a month then 100% of the data that you have listened or you have learned is vanished so forgetting curve itself says which is a scientific proven fact that revision is really very important in order to learn something so if you want to learn then you need to revise as well because without revision you won't be able to keep it over for a longer period of time okay that won't sustain for a longer period of time so you have to revise the topics that you are learning and do not take new topics when you are approaching towards your examination because if you are taking new topics it will automatically demotivate you okay now moving on to the next factor that you need to keep in your mind is about what ma'am is about the most important questions now over here the most important questions that i am talking about here refers to as the questions of the ncrt now over here ncrt back exercises ncrt back exercises and ncrt okay and ncrt in text questions they both are really very important see basically once again see basically when i talk about ncrt back exercises you have to find out which of the following topic is easy and which of the following topic is tough okay easy topics you already know easy questions you can do but the tough one they will require some time so first you have to analyze the topics which are easy and which are tough and after analyzing the topics you have to take that topics which require some amount of time so that you can cover it in those days when exams are not approaching or in between the examination so that when on the day of examination or before that you know you can revise the most important questions other than this the in text questions also you can analyze them the most important ones the least important ones and the medium level ones so this will help you out or initially what you can do is solve the easiest one first then take the uh, medium one so that you would gain some confidence and then move on to the hard ones great so the next thing break time it's really very important as you are preparing a timetable the to do list so you also need to take break see if you are working from day to evening you know frequently you are not taking any breaks so let me tell you you will suffer from a headache okay and this will automatically take you towards you know a pressure that you are holding my exams are approaching how will i able to do so so what you need to do is take frequent breaks the break time can be 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes depending upon your capacity if you are working for 3 hours then you need to take an half an hour break if you are working for 1 hour then you can take 10 to 15 minutes break now break basically holds the time where you need to relax rather than involving yourself in other things what happens students basically take break and they start using their mobile phones no you need not to do that if you are taking break you need to relax your mind okay for that you can listen to music you can meditate talk to your parents talk to someone who motivates you for example if i need to take some break in my life when i'm working really really hard on a certain thing i go to my parents i talk to them and i feel so motivated or i sit idle uh, you know taking my chair and i just close my eyes and think about uh, everything what is going in life and i feel relaxed i don't have to involve myself or i don't have to use my eyes over here and there in mobile phones so that it will again give pressure on my mind i need to relax it down so break is really very important now the next thing that you need to keep in your mind over here is that time is really very crucial for that you have to see that when you are doing a vast syllabus in order to cover the vast syllabus either you can prepare your flow charts that you shall be observing in your chemistry also in organic chemistry the chemical reactions the methods of preparation you can prepare a flow charts for them similarly as you can see the formula sheets you can prepare for physical chemistry for physics for mathematics it will help you out in the last moment when you are you know about to give your exam and you need to do quick revision so this is the best way that you can revise your syllabus revise the chapters quickly and the diagrams in your biology section you need to practice out this is also really very important and the last thing over here that i would recommend you all is again that you need to keep the diagrams in your mind you need to keep the formula sheets in your mind you need to write down the reaction mechanism now the most important one is to relax refresh and recharge you have to relax yourself you have to calm down at the end of the day you have to talk to yourself go in front of the mirror and say to yourself that yes i can do i will do and yes if you feel so tired up sleep for a while okay but when you are waking up or you are doing your work again you have to say to yourself to recharge yourself that now i am 100% recharged and i have to give best because this is my examination and i have to write the story of my life with myself with my pen in my hand so it only depends on you people on your mindset that what you are thinking if you are thinking positive in your life if you are thinking good in your life 
good things will happen. But if you are thinking negative, I won't be able to do so. That I am assuring you, you won't be able to do so. So think positive so that positive things can happen. Okay, students. Now, students, checklist. At the end of the day, check yourself. Analyze yourself. Give yourself marks that I have done or not. Yes, I have done or I have not done. If not done, then assign the work to the next day and complete it. It is really very essential. Self-discipline is really very important in order to achieve something in life. So, I shall finish this session over here. I hope so. Now, you know how to cover vast syllabus in your last time. I just wish you all the very best for your upcoming examination and do your best. And also, do write and make neat clean diagram in your examination. Also, take pencil with you in order to make diagrams. Put your formulas in a square bracket. These are little things that you need to keep in your mind and do write very properly, okay, in a good handwriting. So, all the very best for your upcoming examination. And yes, I believe that my students can do anything in life if they want to do. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All the very best.